Hi, this is Miss Melissa from the West Windsor branch, and today I'm going to show you how to make tie-dye using permanent markers. It's really easy and a less messy way of doing tie-dye. I made a um, tie-dye sock here. As you can see, it looks just like tie-dye and it's really cute and colorful. So what you'll need is, I'm, I used socks. Um, I got these at the dollar store. Uh, you can use a t-shirt or any other um, cotton accessory that you would like to tie dye. You will also need permanent markers. Um, grab your favorite colors. You will need um, rubbing alcohol. This is a key ingredient is rubbing alcohol. Um, if you have an eyedropper or a pipette, um, that would be the best thing to use. If you don't have that, you can use um, a Q-tip. That will work just as well. Then you need um, a flat surface um, for the socks. I used a cup. I'll show you how I use that. If you're using a t-shirt or a bigger accessory, you might want to use a piece of cardboard um, with the flat surface. So we begin in my example using the sock. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to spread it over the cup here, just like so because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the permanent marker to draw our design on the sock. And we wanna make sure that um, we're not holding the sock together like this, or it'll bleed through on the other side. So this just creates a nice flat surface for you to work with. So what you wanna do, just go ahead and create your design. Um, I did um, little mandalas all throughout mine in all different colors. You can make it as colorful as you want. And then the real magic happens when we use our rubbing alcohol. So here I have purple maybe I will add some blue so you can do whatever you'd like and you want to decorate uh, the entire area first before our next step so I'm going to keep doing some designs here. You can make a flower or you can just do shapes because what's going to happen is the colors are eventually going to bleed together to create the cool tie-dye effect. Okay, so I'm almost done here, and then we'll be ready for our alcohol. Okay. Okay, so I have my design here, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to do this in stages. I'm going to spread the design over on the top of the cup here. And then we're going to have a little cup of rubbing alcohol and using my pipette, my eyedropper, I'm going to suck up that alcohol. And then we're just going to drop the alcohol onto the surface of the sock, onto those colors. And then what you'll start to see are the colors bleeding. They're bleeding to create that really neat tie-dye effect. You don't have to add um, too much alcohol, just little drops. And again, if you don't have a pipette, you can use um, 
one of these and just dab it onto the surface here. And it creates that same effect. It's a little easier to do with the pipette. So then, as you can already see, these colors are blending together and it's looking really cool like tie-dye. So you just want to do that throughout and you just want to have a surface here, an open surface so that you can apply the rubbing alcohol and that it doesn't bleed through the other side of the fabric that you're using. And then you can just, and I have another design here so I can just move this up to the top and again, apply that rubbing alcohol. There we go. So it'll take a little while for uh, this to dry. You might want to leave it outside, put it in the sun. And then when you're all done, like I showed you before, it's already looking really cool. It will come out like this. And you have a cool tie-dye sock. I recommend just, um, if you're going to wash them at all, I would just recommend um, hand washing them with some soap and water and just letting them air dry. And of course, you're, since you're using uh, permanent markers and rubbing alcohol, you want to do this in a place where you won't get anything stained. This is a good activity to do outdoors. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you have fun making some tie-dye with some permanent markers. I will see you next time. Thanks for joining.